I'm just trying to figure out how am I not married with five kids running around? Like, what the fudge am I doing wrong? Most people say, oh, I don't give people a chance. Yes, I do. I have boundaries, though. And I don't let people f*** me over, I'm going to say more than three times because I give chances. I even give you a second chance. But it's so easy for me to just walk the f*** out once you start playing with me. But I still don't understand how I'm still single. All right, guys, so we got to talk about this interesting story from this modern woman who apparently is not able to attract a man. OK, according to her, she's such a catch. She has her degrees, her investments, her accomplishments. Um, she's in real estate. She is such a catch. But for some reason, again, she's not able to attract a man. OK, it's gotten to a point where she has made a TikTok video outlining her dating resume and her accomplishments as to why men aren't choosing her. Take a look. I'm 31. I don't have any kids. I got a credit score of 803 exact recently pulled. I have two paid off cars. I'm about to close on my first house this year in May. I'm not toxic at all. I got a big booty. I'm releasing an app on iOS and Android. I work hard as fuck. I'm not clingy but I'll always make sure my partner feels appreciated. Okay, so I don't cook, but I can. I can learn. And it's not like I don't know how to cook, but I just don't cook as much as I should. I'm probably not as feminine as the average feminine female, but I, I wear heels, I dress up. I just feel like I have a very dominant personality. I'm 5'8 in my head, but 5'4 on paper. I've never actually lived with a partner before. I'm just trying to figure out how am I not married with five kids running around. Like what the fudge am I doing wrong? Most people say, oh, I don't give people a chance. Yes, I do. I have boundaries though. And I don't let people f me over, I'm gonna say more than three times because I give chances. I even give you a second chance. But it's so easy for me to just walk the f out once you start playing with me. But I still don't understand how I'm still single. <laughs> you know, we make these videos every day and it's like, bro, I find it quite fascinating that modern women still don't understand what men want okay that is very telling okay it's either that they know or they just simply don't care all right guys so let's check out some of these comments first commenter says someone pull the car facts all right so next commenter says a whole lot of i i i plenty of men would enjoy life with you but competition in a relationship would be is problematic it would be a battle of accomplishments. Next commenter says she probably got unrealistic standards. Men want a woman who brings peace. Next commenter says it's a dominant trait. Not that it's bad. You just need a mate who is as dominant and understanding. Somebody responded and said, no, she needs a feminine man. Next commenter says, I like you, but my question is, why are you still single with all the qualities you mentioned? Next commenter says, I stopped listening after I'm dominant. Next commenter says, you are a career person or an entrepreneur. Difficult to balance that with family life. Difficult, not impossible. All the best. Nah, something not right. I will cook. I will clean what you need. I can even teach you if you want to learn I'm here for you. Beta. All right, guys. So there you have it. Now, I did do some poking around on her TikTok, and apparently she hasn't been with a man for 10 years. OK, according to her, she's been dating women and she has now, I guess, made the transition back into dating men. Take a look. I haven't been with a man in 10 years. But before y'all start, like, yes, I date women. But at the age of 30, I'm now realizing why I stopped dating men. For the, for the longest, I wasn't sure what it was. I just knew I never got excited about them. I never was like eager to, you know, do the do with them. Nothing was there. Like my emotions weren't there when it came to men. But now that I'm older and I have been dating, I have finally realized 
why I was so unattracted to men. All of them only wanted to have sex. None of them truly was invested emotionally and it was always just about sex and after being in a few relationships with men i was just so turned off by it i'm like no one is dating with a goal of being together forever like it just wasn't a thing for men when i was younger of course but the only reason why i just recently figured it out was because i dated this girl and she gave off this vibe of she just wanted to do the do she didn't really want anything serious and she just wanted to mess around i was instantly turned off by her but initially initially i was into her but when i found out and noticed that she was really just in it for the do i was completely turned off by her but with with the guys it was so common and it happened so often when i was younger that guys just wanted to screw and that's it you, they cheated they really weren't in it for the long run but since i ran into this girl that really gave me the feeling of the what i felt with men back then i'm like it really had nothing to do with the gender more so to do with the fact that I seen every guy the same way. Because now that I'm older, I'm starting to realize there are actually a lot of great men out there. There are men out there that, you know, want to be married and don't look at you just to, you know, have mainly probably because when I was dating men, I was young. I was 21. So maybe most of them didn't live their lives. So at my grown ass age at 30, the men that are 30 as well, like, yeah, they didn't did it all. And now they you know, I'm ready to settle down. I just think it's so crazy that at, at 30, I'm just now kind of figuring out that I don't think it ever really had anything to do with the gender per se, but more so at the fact that I was turned off by dudes were just hoish back then. But a female can be a hoe too. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. I guess she has some sort of accountability here, sort of, kind of, maybe. Um, I mean, you haven't been dating guys for 10 years. You're 20, 21, dating a 20 or 21 year old guy. Like, what do you expect? Okay, there's no guy that's going to be 2021. 20, you know, that's serious thinking about marriage. Okay, that's just not going to happen. Um, it's just unfortunate. She didn't have some sort of, I guess, father figure or somebody that she can kind of look up to to seek answers. Ideally, that's what a woman would want to do when it comes to finding a husband, finding a significant other. Okay, you don't want to be out here trial and error kind of blown by 10 years you're now 30 31 looking for a man the dudes that are 30 31 with all the accomplishments that you have chances are you're not gonna want a regular guy okay you're gonna want a quote-unquote high value guy a guy that is probably doing equal or greater than what you're doing chances are those 30 31 year old dudes are going after younger women but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below all right guys so let's check out more of these comments i ran into men like that in my early 20s then by 26 i met the one and i was married by 27 i'm pushing 31 now and happily married with two kids next commenter says sounds like you have a lot of inner work to do my love because women do you worse than a dude. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section below. Go ahead and provide me some feedback. And until next time.